Hello, humans of internet land. And since um, last episode, I have figured out the problem. Just like last time, this will be better from figuring out something I didn't understand last time. It's going to be a trend. I need to select beyond the beef. I thought the whole thing with his son for a second was uh, involved with the plebeable will. Well, actually, it kind of is, but it's not the same quest. Anyways, looks like my first instinct was right. I need to ask around this Ultra Lux place. Let's see. Let's try this woman. Trying to elevate your status by being seen with me? It won't work. <laughs> She's so snooty. What about you? Welcome to Top Shelf. The drinks cost twice as much during happy hour, but they draw twice the attention, too. Goodbye. Pleasure speaking to you. Huh. Ha cost half as much? Oh, right, yeah, that is normal for happy hour, from what I've read. White glove greeter. Word has it you were spotted entering the Lucky 38. However, did you get on that guest list? Hmm. Word spreads. Hmm. Don't seem to be anyone of interest here. Let's look elsewhere. They must have spent a fortune renovating this place. Hello. I must have spent a fortune renovating this place. Huh. Can't believe they just had different voice actors say the same things. How may I be of service, man? Do you have any work? What can you tell me of your organization? My, such a popular question. I suppose it is only natural to see us and wonder what it is that makes us special. The White Glove Society has only just made its... Were we always so refined? <laughs> I'd be lying if I said yes. Not everyone can wear the finest clothes and eat the finest foods, obviously. That's... But surely we can agree that the most tasteful, sophisticated people... Ah, uh, nothing. Indeed. That's a weird, um, goodbye thing. Let's see where this compass leads me. Oh, here we go. Welcome to the Ultralux. I do hope it exceeds your every expectation. I'm looking for someone who went missing recently. Heck, Gunderson said he was here to talk business with you. What business? What else? Mr. Gunderson and I have been discussing his livestock. It's put us in a rather delicate position, you see, his coming here. Not that we aren't grateful for his generous offer. But our executive chef, Philippe, has transformed Brahmin steak into a delicacy. He really is a genius. Everyone wants it. But a delicacy is just that. Delicate. If everyone can get it, it ceases to be a delicacy. It becomes a perfectly ordinary staple. And if the gourmand serves staples, it would no longer draw the caliber of people it deserves. It would be a diner or a family restaurant. Ooh, so as want much that. as we'd all love for there to be enough steak for everyone, I'm afraid there are more important things to consider. Do you work here? Do you work here? I do, but one can hardly call it work. I think of myself as a caretaker rather than a common laborer. I suppose it is a labor of love if it can be called labor at all. We at the White Glove Society are all responsible for maintaining the beauty and class of the Ultra Lux. And as its founder, I suppose it falls to me to decide how we go about it. 
I'm looking for someone who went missing recently. This again? I thought this was all settled. I answered every one of that investigator's questions to his satisfaction and gave all the help I could. I know our reputation hasn't always been spotless, but that's all in the past now. How some people can't get over it is beyond me. For the last time, the White Glove Society has never and will never consume human flesh for any reason. It's what? in the Charter. That's a weird thing to specify. Who did you talk to about this disappearance? There was an investigator who came through here last week. He'd been hired by a young man whose bride-to-be went missing during their stay here. Well, you can already guess what probably happened, can't you? It seems perfectly likely that she got cold feet and ran off. And that young groom just didn't have a clue, the poor dear. I'm investigating someone else. A man, and he just recently went missing. A man? Well, then this... Well, this can't be. Two disappearances in my hotel? What will people say? I'm going to have a word with my staff about security on the premises. Whether these people are found or not, our guests simply must feel safe in their own rooms. Is there any way I could talk to the investigator? Why, yes, I think so. If he hasn't checked out yet, that is. I had our Mater D Mortimer offer him a complimentary room for as long as it took for him to be satisfied. You see, the White Glove Society remains the very picture of courtesy, even in the face of such impolite accusations. We have nothing to hide here. The White Glove Society used to eat human flesh? Now, didn't I already tell you that we don't do that sort of thing? We do not engage in cannibalism here under any circumstances. Though we haven't always been the White Glove Society. There was another time, a dark time, when we went by a different name. But that's all changed now. We've evolved past such base impulses since settling into our new home. I've seen to it that those days are behind us. It's okay. I eat people too. You can tell me the truth. Ah, uh, nah. Goodbye. Ta-ta. <laughs> this place is so funny and fancy. You know, I hear behind closed doors or whatever you humans say, the higher-ups uh, live a lot like this. As far as we know for sure, they live just like us, only with more food and more, uh, you know, um, females. Where'd Mortimer go? Uh, I passed him. How may I be of service, ma'am? I heard your group dines on human flesh. Nah, let's... Oh, no, I want to see where this goes. Ah, yes. I've heard that one, too. Jealous people say such nasty things. I feel sorry for them. I, too, know what it's like to feel the craving. How can I support your cause so it isn't true? I can assure you that the only thing the White Glove Society is guilty of is preparing the tastiest cuisine you'll ever sample. That is, of course, if you can afford it. Hmm. Marjorie said you gave a free room to a private investigator? Private investigator? Ah, yes, I remember the gentleman. This was about the missing bride. Such an awful thing. I do hope he finds her whereabouts. If I might pry, have you found something that will help his investigation? Actually, I just need to speak with him. I'm on an investigation, too. I'm hoping we can help each other. I can see where this lie could benefit me. Yes, I have some critical information for him. Good. I hope that young man gets some closure after all he's been through. 
Now, ordinarily, we don't give out guest information, but I think, given the circumstances, he'll want to speak with you. Let's see. He hasn't checked out yet. If you head back to the hotel rooms, his will be one floor directly above you after you exit the lobby. I hope we can put this whole matter to rest at last. Where did you say the investigator's room was again? If you head back to the hotel rooms, his will be one floor directly above you after you exit the lobby. Got it. Exit the lobby. Indeed. After I exit the lobby, exactly one room above. Okay, now which way is the hotel rooms? Salutations. What's he looking at? Good day. Why is everyone around here dressed up wearing masks? Those are all members of the White Glove Society. Our founder Marjorie gave us all a dress code. There's only one rule to it. In her words, we must dress in such a way that no one can be said to have dressed better than us. As for the masks, I'm not allowed to tell you. We're sworn to secrecy. Actually, that's not true. That's just what we're supposed to say. I think Marjorie likes them for the mystery they create, and the way they make it clear that we're different from everyone else. But you didn't hear that from me. Where is your mask? Mm, must have forgotten to put it on. How embarrassing. Oh, you know what could have been good? Farewell. If if the mask were meant... What was he looking at here? Gamora Hotel's Unique Style Las Vegas, Nevada. Ultra Lux and Topps Casino's Enhanced Vegas Appeal. Did you oh, it's an old article. No, I didn't. Oh, you know what could have been good? Is if... These are hotel rooms. Dwarf to the gourmet. No. Is if the uh, mask were supposed to... This is the bathhouse. Hide like tribal tattoos and tribal scarring. Oh, that could have been good. Morning. Door to Ultralux rooms. Okay. Okay, so it should be on the second floor. Is it this one? Use key. Oh, I have the key for it, so it must be this one. Over here. What's going on out there? I... Right, I wasn't able to keep my holdouts. Loyal's detonator. Oh, that ain't nothing. Dang, why didn't I improve that sneak skill? Hey, wait a second. Why isn't Eddie helping? He still has a laser. Uh, at least he's a good distraction. Uh, if only I had more sneak skill, I could have kept my holdouts. Oh hey, Here we let's see what Vats is like with punching. Uh. 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 Yeah, it ain't all that great. <laughs> Might be time for a weapon. Just about got him. Ooh, I did all that with just punching. Okay, I should still have my aid. Stim pack, stim pack, stim pack. Steady stim pack. 
Oh crap. Distract him, Eddie! Why won't you just shoot him? White glove society. Ah, oh, what? I can't take his cane? Oh, maybe I need to pick that up. Nice work, Arcade. You're pretty tough for a nerd. Ah, nice. Okay, let's try two more stim packs. Oh, actually thankful for the king now. Well, the kings, I mean. Ah, cool. Now we can wear disguises. Just like a James Bond thing. You have equipped faction armor, faction armor. Right, I'm disguised now. You are just... Hmm. Can't I have Arcade disguise too? Let's see. Be aggressive. Talk to, use stim pack, wait here, that's something to remember. Keep distance, back up, use melee, open inventory. Sure, just don't treat me like a pack brahmin, okay? <laughs> oh, it's been a while since I've heard anything from Arcade. Love the guy. Okay, how do I switch? Okay, there we go. Items, weapons, wait, yeah, weapons. Um, take this and this. Oh, wait, he already picked up a dress cane. Ah, okay, that's good. Apparel. Ah, oh, man, so I can't change his clothes. Uh, I guess it probably isn't necessary, but it could have been cool if we uh, were if we both slipped into some disguises. Hmm. Dress cane. Okay. Let's take a look at the back of me real quick. Okay. I'll do my best. Oh nope! Do not want that. There we go. Ooh, I feel so out of place in this dress. I can't believe I actually said that. That sounds weird out of context. Let's see, can't I pick up corpses? Hmm. Uh, I guess I'm probably thinking of Skyrim. Oh, well, it probably doesn't matter. That's empty. Wardrobe. Nothing. Dirty pre-war park stroller outfit. Pre-war bonnet. Mm, Want to make extra sure. War hat. Weird. Oh, that's nothing. Empty. Caruso. I think that's like a reference to a TV show. Match. Oh. Hmm. Business wear. Sunglasses. I already have sunglasses of my own. Plus, right now, I need to be wearing a mask. Hmm. Oh, wait. I didn't look in here. Nope. Okay, let's check out this matchbook. Miscellaneous. The following is scrawled across the back of the matchbook. Oh. Thought, uh, thought for a second it was like one of those hollow tape things. Steam Room 4 p.m. Hmm. Get out of there, arcade. Come on.
Okay, he's probably talking about the bathhouse. What was that quest update? Meet with the investigator's contact, Ultra Loop Steam Room. Right. Get Ted back to his. Oh, okay, that's the other thing. Is there any unique dialogue now that I'm disguised? I'm not really gambling. I'm just hoping to be seen here. People will think I'm rich. Ha! <laughs> oh, that's funny. I'm really liking this quest so far. It's a damn good quest. Let's see, this is the bathhouse. Arcade Gambler 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 Oh wait, what do they have to say about being in a bathhouse? It smells so good in here. Like the air is cleaner than it is outside. Huh. Oh, this must be the steam room. That's a gambler. Steam room. Oh wait, no, this is a steam room. Hmm. Wine. Nope. Get in here, arcade. Enjoy the steam. All right, whatever. Okay, it said 4 p.m. Uh, you know what, actually, I'll take my clothes off for a uh, little while since this is a steam room. You're not supposed to wear clothes in there from what I've heard. You are no longer right. Okay. Okay, said 4 p.m. It is currently... Uh, I think that translates to one, so two hours, I'll be 3.44, that's close to 4 p.m. Whoops, wrong one. Uh, hopefully there'll be some nice leeway, otherwise I'll be waiting here for 15 minutes. Fast as time move in this game. Oh, okay, good. Shouldn't be much longer. Yeah, from what I understand, uh, typically in games, the passage of time is accelerated a bit, so you won't actually have to uh, play for a whole day to see a day go by. Who are you? You first. You don't know? Oh, good, that's good. So they didn't send you after me. Where's the gentleman I'm supposed to meet? Can't make it. He's dead. Oh my goodness, me. They must know he was talking to someone on the inside. They'll be watching everyone closer now. I knew this was a mistake. Who are you afraid of? Mortimer. If he realizes it was me the investigator was planning to meet, he'll have me killed. So was Mortimer behind the disappearances? Yes. The White Glove Society strictly forbids eating humans. But we weren't always the White Glove Society. Mortimer and some of the others have regressed to the old ways. They've taken many people over the last few months. But always from Freeside or secluded places where they wouldn't be missed. It wasn't enough. Lately, they've gone for tourists here on the Strip, even in the hotel. I guess that's the hazard of a cannibal becoming a gourmet. It's hard to please a refined palate. Hmm. What are you supposed to discuss here? What about Ted Gunderson? 
He's alive, as far as I know. We're trying to keep him fresh. Mortimer has special plans for him. The White Glove Society has a banquet every night at 7. It's in our private section. Mortimer wants to reintroduce humans into our cuisine. Since eating people is a crime we punish by death, he's going to do it in secret. After everyone has eaten it, he'll tell them. With no real way to punish everyone, in Mortimer's mind anyway, their minds will be open to the idea of eating people as a delicacy. Where are they keeping Ted? Won't they punish Mortimer for his deception? They might, but to him, the legacy of returning to the old ways is worth his own life. I don't think he expects it, though. I don't either. Nothing is more important to the society than being on the cutting edge of New Vegas cuisine. Mortimer's idea will appeal to that need. He just has to get them over the taboo. Where are they keeping Ted? I don't know exactly. I wasn't in on it. I think some of them have stopped trusting me. But you can bet they're keeping him near the gourmand. Our chef, Philippe, has an obsession with fresh ingredients. It'd be back in the members only section, so you'll have to be careful. Don't be seen, and more importantly, don't let them see Ted in the open. It's guarded both at the lobby entrance and in the access tunnels leading from the main restaurant. Anything you can do to help me? I could sponsor you as an honorary member. The White Gloves are always looking for people who can elevate their status. You'd certainly fit the bill with everything you've done around here. Otherwise, you'll have to find some way to get inside quietly. It won't be easy, and it'll be harder still to get him out. Any suggestions on how to get Ted out? Hmm. Well, they'll all be sampling pre-war wines before the meal. Maybe it's as simple as drugging them. Although, that wouldn't stop any future kidnappings. You'd have to expose Mortimer, but he's going to confess anyway. What if... What if his revelation were a lie? What if no one had eaten human flesh but him? If you could somehow replace Philippe in the kitchen and serve a convincing substitute instead, you could walk Ted right through the middle of that room after Mortimer speaks, and then he'd have some explaining to do. Philippe has been trying to approximate the taste of human flesh for years. He must have a recipe somewhere. Hmm, I don't think I have the skill for that. Ted fathers a wealthy man with his resources. This should be easy to stop. That may be true, but I wouldn't recommend it. He's built a reputation, and it isn't for calmness and impartiality. He's not what he looks like. They call him Hurricane Heck. The man built his empire by hiring mercenaries to drive off the competition. Lately, he's been attacking our Brahmin suppliers so he can take over their business. He's the sort to pound in a nail with a wrecking ball. If you give him the whole story on this, he'd be liable to raise the entire hotel. And God knows what he'd do to the rest of the strip. Wouldn't they punish Mortimer for his deceptions? Where are they keeping Ted? I don't know exactly. I wasn't in on it. I think some of them have stopped trusting me. But you can bet they're keeping him near the gourmand. It'd be back in the members only section. So you'll have to be careful. Don't be seen. It's guarded both at the lobby. How do I get in? I could sponsor you as an honorary. You'd certainly fit. Otherwise. Hmm. I think that's about everything I need to know. Ted's father's in one of me. Any suggestions on how to get Ted out? Yeah, I need to hear that again. Hmm. Well, they'll all be sampling pre-war wines before the meal. Maybe it's as simple as drugging them. Although, that wouldn't stop any future kidnappings. You'd have to expose Mortimer, but he's going to confess anyway. What if... What if his revelation were a lie? If you... You could... Philippe... Okay, time to move on. Goodbye. Let's plan on meeting again as soon as... Wait, did you hear something? Were you followed? I... Oh, you know what could have been good? If me having been in disguise while I've come here kept this from happening. Well, actually, of course, then again, that wouldn't account for the bodies I just left behind. Oh well. Point is, there's a fight and I gotta get in. Oh, but first I need some stim packs. Let's see, super stim pack. And, um. Nuka Cola. And more rat meat. Cayenne nuts. And purified water. That ought to do her. Uh. 
Oh, I guess I didn't need all that. Assassin. Silenced pistol. Okay, good. And some rounds. Okay. Ah, uh, back to what I'm best at. I need to slip back into my disguise. Oh, I love that whole disguise system. Makes me feel so sneaky, which is perfect for this quest. Anyways, this video is long enough and has and, uh, and has had some good moments. All right, getting some better videos. I hope. See you all next time. Goodbye.